Okay, here's the question. It says, 11 small cans and 3 large cans can be bought for the exact amount of $100. I think we need to kind of like stop here and see if we make a constraint or probably come up with an equation. So it says, 11 small cans. Let's call this S. And 3 large cans. Uh, 3 large can be bought for exact a hundred dollars so where s is basically the dollar value of small cans and l is basically the dollar value of one large can okay it says if the price of the large can is three times as much as a small one. So the large, okay, so this L is basically how much if the price of the large is three times as much as a small one. So if the large is three times the small. Um, can I basically make, use this substitution to kind of like solve this one? I think I can. Well, if I say, Hmm, 11S plus 3 times L, which is now 3, and other S, it's going to give me 100. So 11S is basically 3 threes or 9S, which is 100. So 11 plus a 9 is a 20 S equal to 100. Hundred, and if I come back over here, S is gonna be hundred times the twenty, and it's gonna be five. So the S is basically S is the price of one dollar. Okay, so one small. Uh, can is worth five dollars and so if this is five the large can one large can is just going to be multiplied by three right five three to fifteen dollars okay so uh, what is the question basically asking now now that I have a lot of information with me uh, for how many uh, yeah with the prices of both being integers, so prices are both integers. So, yeah, I mean, I found those prices, haven't I? So, S is an integer, and L is an integer, and I can't, like, find the value of one uh, can is S and a large one 15. How many different combination of small and large cans can be bought for hundred dollars, provide that each combination has at least one large and one small can. So I think I need to kind of like modify my equation a little bit. So I have the values. So let's say, okay, so if I'm considering small, five times x, now this is the small uh, price. And this is the number of small cans, okay? And let's say 15y equal to 100. Uh, so this y is basically the number of large cans. And this is the price of one large can. So now the question is, uh, how many uh, different combinations are possible given the fact that uh, neither x is equal to uh, 0 and neither y is equal to 0 because the question basically asked me that this is not allowed. I need at least one large and one small. Okay, So this is not allowed. So let's just keep it simple. So if I'm like, okay, how about 15 ones are 
15. So what's going to be left? It's going to be 85. I'm going to use my calculator just to be a bit efficient. So uh, subtract uh, 100 with a 15. 85, 85 divided by 5. Yeah, it's going to be 17 over here. Multiply with a 5. Okay, so one combination, 17 and 1. So can I uh, do something with 15 and a 2? Let's see. So 15 and a 2 is going to give me 30. If I subtract 100 with 30, I'm going to left with 70. And if I say, okay, so divide that by 5, I get 14. Okay. So already I'm seeing a pattern, but let's just do one more because... I'm increasing 1 over here, the gap is 1, however over here, 14, 15, 16, 17, the gap is 3. So let's see if that continues, let's try, so 15, 3's are going to be 45, 100 minus 45 is 55, divided by 5 is going to be 11, so 3 and 11, same pattern continues. So now I don't really need to multiply and see if this equation satisfies or not. I'm just going to consider more numbers and start subtracting. So over here it's going to be 4. Over here if I subtract a 1 it's 10. Subtract another 2 it's going to 8. And over here it's going to be 5. If I subtract a 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, another 5. I subtract, I add a 6. I subtract another one. What's that going to be? Uh, 2 and now this is not possible because now if I subtract 3 I'm gonna get a negative 1 and a negative 1 can is not possible so how many cases there are uh, there are 1 2 3 4 5 and a 6 6 different cases answer must be B uh, you guys following so far do we have any questions relating? No. To... Okay, cool. 